King. All right, now. We all know what we're here for. We're here to watch the WBC heavyweight champion of the world defend his title. That's Deontay Wilder versus Dominique Brazil. Now, at first glance, you thought that, you know, this fight was uh, just a filler fight to get um, Deontay Wilder closer to either Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua, who is the um, next heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, the titles are split. Anthony Joshua has the remaining belts, which is the WBA, IBF, and probably the WBO. But uh, the prestige belt resides in the U.S. of A., in the hands of Deontay Wilder. So, I'm going to give you the road going up to the fight. You know, we don't usually do this here, but we're going to give you the road going up to the fight. Uh, going into this fight, Dominique Brazil uh, and Deontay Wilder had an altercation, uh, I believe it was two years ago. And that altercation uh, led to a lot of death threats, uh, a lot of true animosity between both camps. Now, we are here present day, and we have this fight. So when the fight was made, and Dominique Brazil made itself the mandatory uh, to fight the heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder, I automatically assumed that you know it would be a, a whitewash, a regular fight. Um, then I look back on the fight tape of Anthony Joshua versus Dominique Brazil. And I noticed, and I noticed from the early on in the fight that Dominique Brazil presented a couple of challenges for Anthony Joshua. Uh, his long right hand, his jab, his ability to fight. So I, I dig deeper into uh, Dominique Brazil. And he's a former Olympian. You know, guys, you know what I say about those Olympians. Those guys are a tough out. They are 100% there to fight. They have seen all the styles in the world. And they are pedigree. They have stuff that you have to worry about and you, you have to fear. So, leading up to the fight, you had uh, Deontay Wilder uh, saying a lot of disparaging comments towards uh, Dominic Brazil. That he wanted to kill him. That, you know, this is the only sport that you can catch a body in the ring. And for some weird reason, the WBC investigated their own champion for words that he said uh, pertaining to what he felt like he could do in the ring to the challenger. This is getting way out of hand, guys. This is just a build up to a fight. Uh, I heard Mike Tyson tell you after a fight he wanted to uh, shatter the guy's nose bone so it can break into his brain. Uh, I've heard Mike Tyson said, you know, he wanted to eat people, kids. Um, and I've heard other uh, fighters uh, make the same amount of uh, comments. All right. Um, we all know when we dance this dance of death inside that ring and he blows your last blow. So going through to the fight, you have to understand that it was definitely a possibility that things can happen. All right, so now that the weigh-in happened, now that these guys are ready to go and they're in the mix, made weight, both of them, well, the heavyweights, of course. Uh, Dominic Brazil, I believe, is 255, the challenger, and 225 for the heavyweight champion of the world. I expect this fight to play out um, in this manner. Now, but... You have to look at it as a psychological aspect to this fight that's underlining everything. Deontay Wilder has been extremely out of character. Now, normally, he is that braggadocious, that uh, strong, imposing figure going into a fight. But this seems to be a level of intimidation that I've seen from him that's a, a, a notch above a little bit more and I worry going into this fight that that is his undoing you ever wanted to get at something so bad that you couldn't see the forest for the trees 
You ever wanted to obtain something so bad that you made missteps uh, trying to leap forward to grab it because it was in your grasp? This is my fear with this fight. My fear is Deontay Wilder dispenses himself in a round trying to eliminate uh, Dominique Brazil and gets caught, get out the box, get sidetracked. And this stuff happens. This stuff happens to fighters. Remember, Deontay Wilder knows nothing but winning. And, and, and if any of you guys say, well, he lost that fight with Tyson Fury, he didn't lose, lose the fight. Sorry, it was a draw. I already told you how it came to the draw. I already showed you how the draw was made. This fight here is a question mark. It's going to see if Deontay Wilder can keep his composure in the ring, settle down, sit on his shots, deliver them in a timely fashion. Because he's unorthodox. Come on, guys. He's a fulsome nature. Dominique Brazil is by the books. Fights tall, behind a jab, right hand. The thing that's working for Dominique Brazil, besides the fact that he's an Olympian, Virgil Hunter, his head trainer. Virgil Hunter is a savvy trainer. Plays mental mind games with his fighters. Gets them in the best possible shape. But also allows them and tells them like it is. To see the fight and how it plays out. Plays to their strengths. Now you may look at Dominique Brazil's body and be like, oh he's out of shape. No, some guys have a softer frame than others. He's in shape. This fight is going to play out as such. I believe uh, Deontay Wilder comes out and tries to get the quick, quick KO. He might get the quick the, the quick KO. He might get that flash, boom, bash, knockout. Might happen. Or it might go the way that I think that he struggles early on until Dominique drops that, la that lazy jab or doesn't bring that right hand up to block the left hook. And Deontay Wilder blasts him out of there. I expect uh, Dominic Brazil face to swell up. His eyes usually swell. Um, and I expect him to languish on the ropes. And the fight is stopped either in the 7th or the 8th round uh, by TKO. This has been Combat Talk with the King. Hopefully I'm wrong. And this whole thing, and it's easy and smooth sailing for the heavyweight champion as he gets ready to fight Anthony Joshua, the other heavyweight champion. But hey, we here for a fight. What's wrong with a little adversity on our way to it? Don't miss out on Gary Russell Jr. fighting on the undercard. Gary Russell Jr. is uh, putting himself in position to fight uh, Javante Tank Davis that is a fight I'm dying to see this has been Combat Talk with the King listen to ILP at 1pm tomorrow to see if I was right or I was wrong shout out to the E3 crew a couple of more weeks to the next fight <laughs>